This is the November 2020 exemplar for Grade 11 Information Technology or RT and it's the practical exam paper. So an ex example of a paper that could be used for Grade 11 at the end of the year. So let's have a look at question 3 for this video, the database question. So here we have a database question. It's normally quite easy to do if you know your algorithms again. This is a place where you'll, you'll normally be a going through of dot first, well not end of file dot next type of thing. And there'll be a, maybe an insert and edit to delete that type of thing. So make sure that you know that. It says yeah, please do not use any filters, sort, locate or record count. Okay, so I don't like the fact that we can't use record count, but we can't use it. So we have to use a while loop every single time we do a loop. And you can't use filter, sort or locate. So we have to use it through, um, I think we call it first principles. Yes, first principles. So. Thousands of research articles on COVID. So there's a whole list. So there's articles in this database called COVID Research, MDB. So there's the title, the author, the, pub the publisher, the pages, the source, the, the language, and blah, blah, blah. Okay. So design view, they tell me what the details are. Let's have a look. So it's all short text, a number, and short text. Okay. So we know what this, the, the format is. Good to know what the data fields are because you need to make sure that you convert them appropriately when putting stuff into them. And then there's a restore button, but there's a restore database button. So if we make changes and we made the wrong changes, we can just restore it. So let's have a look at the first question. 3.1. I've got the file open over here. 3.1. I'll double click on it. Now you can't see anything connected. I think it's connected dynamically. So when I run the program and there we go, you can see all the stuff's all, all loaded. So it's just connected dynamically. So let's do the first question for the first one. So let's have a look. Display the title of all the articles which contain more than a hundred pages. So just the title in the rich edit. Is that it? Okay, well, if I gave you this on paper, you would just go through all the ones that have more than a hundred pages. There's one. Display that title. Go through until you find the next one. Display the title. So we are going through each and every record individually and checking something. So in that case, we are going, we, we starting, it's TBL. What is the table called? I didn't even take note of that. It is, we are dealing with TBL research. That's the TBL we look at. TBL research. That's what we're dealing with. So TBL research. And it's always dot first. And then it's while not TBL research dot end of file. And then we're going to have a loop, a begin end. And then at the end, right at the, near the bottom of this while loop, we're going to say research dot next you just need to do that that's the, the the basic structure of going through each and every record and what are we doing we check in if now how do i get each an individual record so this so this part of the code they'll be writing here is basically dealing with one record the loop will do it for all the records so you just need to work with one record and believe that it'll work the loop will, will the first while not in the file dot next will make it loop for all the records so how do i get each individual value so let's look i want to get before i can get the title i need to look at the number of pages so the pages value so research square bracket and then inside here in quotes you put the name of the field that you're referring to if that is greater is it greater than equal to do they want a hundred or more where is it more than a hundred so not equal to so a hundred then more than a hundred if the pages are more than a hundred then what are we doing? Well, we are saying the rich edit dot lines dot add. What are we adding? We are adding the the title. So research the title field, which is a string, so we don't need to convert it. So there we go. So if it's if the page value is above 100, add the title for the first one, and then the loop will do it for the second and third and so on. So on. I think that's it. Is that I think that's literally it. They don't tell me to sum them all or anything. Let's have a look run it display and I think we can display the stuff over here there are three answers and those are our three answers huh yeah why is there there we go looks like it's correct fantastic we got that easy marks you knew your algorithm so change to English okay so this sounds like we're going to be changing stuff there exists more than one article which is written in English but the language was said is said as ENG in the table we want it to be changed to English so if we look at the table, oh, you see these ENGs, we want to change them to English. So if the language is English, we must, or ENG, we must change it to English. So we are changing, we, but we're not changing one record, we're changing a lot of records. We're going through each and every one, but only changing the ones that say English. So again, we are looping through each and every record. So we are going to do that whole 
TBL research dot first. We're going to go while we are not TBL research end of file. And we're going to do a begin and end. And at the end of this, we can say TBL research dot next. So what are we doing? Well, we're going to first check if TBL research, if which property? The language. What was it called? I don't know. What was it called? What was it called? Not there. Why oh, I keep going to the wrong place? If the language property. So if the language is equal to the text ENG, then what do we want to do? We want to do a couple of things. We want to change it. So um, to change the table, we are at the right spot. We must go into edit mode. Then we can say, hey, that, that language field, hey, that language field there. That language one. There we go, that one. I want you to change that to the word English and make it equal to English. Why is it going there? There we go. So take that language field, make it now English. It was ENG. If it's ENG, change it. And then once we've done that, we must always post our results. Down at the end, once we've made a change, we're going to post it so that we can move to the next record. And then we'll move to the next record and blah, 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 blah. blah. So that should change all of them. Okay, so do they want anything else? So they display, they don't say how many, they don't even, if, if we wanted to count how many records would change, we would have a count variable, and every time we change, we increase it in the display at the end. That's something that they could ask in future. So let's go, you see the ENGs? So if we make a mistake and it doesn't work, we can always restore the database, just remember that. So it goes through all of them, let's look. I don't see any ENGs, it looks like it's all good. There we go, and it doesn't change all of them to ENGs, so there we go. So I'm just going to restore the database so we can get back to the original. Oh, there we go. So we've got the original. Okay, fantastic. We can always click on that button again if we need to. Now, next question. Delete all articles where the source is from PMC. Delete all of them from the PMC. What do we have against the PMC? So there are some PMC articles. We want to delete them. Okay, so let's delete them. So again, we're going through all of the articles. If the publisher... Or if the source, sorry, is PMC, then we must delete it. Now, this one's a little bit more trickier. Not too tricky, but it's again, it's the same thing. We're going TBL research dot first. Have you heard this, this, this song before? While not TBL research dot end of file. See, if you didn't know this algorithm, you would have lost so many marks. So it's an easy algorithm. You're always going through each and every record in, a, in an exam. So you might as well know it. Dot next. Okay, so there's my algorithm. So if... TBL research. So we don't want to delete all the records, just the ones where the source, the source, is it the source? Was it the source? Go to the right place. Where the source equals PMC. Where the source equals the text PMC. If that is true, then what do we want to do? We just want to delete it. TBL research dot delete. Now this is the little trick. This is the little trick. Everyone watch it. Watch it. You can't just leave it like that. You have to do something. You have to do this. So first of all, if there if there was a PMC record and then another PMC record and then another record like hello. Okay. So what how that happens is if it finds, hey, this is a PMC, so it will delete that record. And then the pointer moves to there, to the next record. But then, so we did the delete. The point automatically after delete moves to the next record and then it's going to run the next so then that it'll jump to the next record and then do the loop again to see how it skipped the that pmc if there are two values that are next to each other right on top of each other with the same value then this algorithm will not work so the delete automatically moves to the next record so i don't want to delete and move to the next and then next again i only want to move to the next if we're not deleting so that's why we must put an else here that's also else and delete the semicolon before. So if we found something that we want to delete, delete it, else move to the next. So we can't do both. Because if we delete, it's automatically moving to the next one. So we don't want to move to the next one and then move to the next, move next again. Because then if there are two records right after each other, it will only delete one of them. So remember that. With a delete, that's the only trick. You must put an else next. So let's delete all the PMCs. So there's the PMCs. Delete them. Oh, are they gone? Okay, there we go. They're all gone. They're a little bit shorter there. There we go. So there we go. That's worked. Okay. Next. 
Percentage of Chinese articles. Write code to calculate the dis display the percentage of articles in that exist in the table that are Chinese. So if we look at the, you can see that the language I assume would be Chinese. So that's what you were looking for. Uh, so you want to work out the percentage. So we're going to go through each and every record and count how many Chinese ones there are. And because we can't use record count, we also need to count all of them, all the records. So we need a number of Chinese records and total records. So that's what we got. Total number of articles percentage of Chinese articles. So that's total number of articles that are Chinese. So there we go. So what we're going to do is on that button is I need a variable for the total our total sorry our total and our Chinese. So, so our total will be all the records and our Chinese will be how many Chinese records or Chinese um, articles there are. So again I feel like we're copying and pasting this every single time. I'm actually going to do this in an exam. You can do this copy and paste to just save some time. Boom, boom. And we can take this part out now. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. So if this is the part that will be different. So go to the first, while not in the file. Now, if the language, I think it's the language. How do I know if it's Chinese? If the language is Chinese. So if the language property equals to the word. Chinese. If that is true, then we want to increase. Then we want to increase our Chinese. Not our, our Chinese. There we go. How many that we've got? Okay. But before, if we're going to keep adding to it, we should probably initialize our Chinese to a zero. If that makes sense. So we can every time we find Chinese, we add. But if we find any record, we want to total it. So I'm going to make our total equal to zero as well. And if we find any record, I'm going to say increase our total. Any record increase our total. But if it's Chinese, also increase the Chinese value. If that makes sense. So that keeps track of how many there are in total, and that's going to keep track of how many Chinese there are of that total. Okay, are we happy with that? Now the average. Our rave variable again, rave burger variable, is going to be after the loop is done. This is the end of the while loop. After the loop is done, then the average will be the number of Chinese books divided by the total books in total, all the articles. I'll be doing the article. I think it's articles. Yeah. So the Chinese, the articles written by in Chinese compared to the total. So I think we do that, um, and then they want me to display. The total number of articles and the percentage. Okay, so let's see if we get those values. Okay, so in the rich edit, do they clear the rich edit? I don't know. I'm going to clear it. Or do they want me to display it in display in the rich edit after the articles have been after the PMC articles have been deleted? Okay, so we need to do Q33 first because otherwise, obviously, there's some uh, PMC articles written in Chinese. So if we're going to do that, so rich edit. Dot lines dot add. What are we adding first? We are adding total number of articles. Total number of articles. Total number of articles. Oh, no, undo. Total number that of articles. That didn't work for the copy and paste. And we're going to add the Chinese total. And then equal so we put a little equal to sign there make it sure that your displays are exactly like they want it in the example and then we want to say percentage of Chinese articles percentage was it of percentage of Chinese articles let's see and then we can display our ray variable Okay, but let's look at how they display. They are obviously integers. They display them as whole numbers. I must also add the word percent here. Okay, so Chinese is an integer. So we need to convert it from an int to a string so that it can fit into this rich edit. And this is a, a real number. So we want to display it from a float to a string. F we want to display to zero decimal places. If they're fixed, comma eight, comma zero. We won't want any decimal places for the average plus percent. Let's try that and see what it does. Don't know if it's gonna I've got a funny feeling we might have to times this by a hundred. 
if the values okay first we must delete all the pmcs because obviously it's going to work out percentage uh, percentage of chinese articles number of articles three one two three okay okay so i think this total number of articles is actually the total one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve well, there are 30. okay so there we go so actually this total number of articles isn't the total number of chinese it's actually the total total okay and i think we need to multiply that percentage by 100. let's just see if that works see how you can adapt your question to get so we first delete all the pmcs okay they've already been deleted and then we're going to say percentage ah that looks better so we there are 13 articles in total and the, the chinese articles make up 23 percent okay so we must read it a little slightly so the total number of articles is actually the total that they wanted which we had available because we were totaling for, for the average anyway and then the percentage just remember you must multiply it by 100 to get the number into a, a percentage value okay so just remember that okay so that's number 3.4 we're nearly done i think we've got one more one more to do and yeah one more to do let's try it right add a new article okay doesn't say anything so we just got to add this new details title that okay so it's just add a new new value okay that's quite easy we're going to add new record all you do is you're going to go into insert mode dot insert and then you're going to change all of your values so like the title for example and all the values you're going to change blah 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 blah, blah. and then at the end you go tbl research dot post that's the basic algorithm so what are the fields that we need we need to change title must be vaccine trials okay let's see if the copy and paste works now vaccine trials but that's obviously a string so we're going to add vaccine trials and i'm just going to copy this a couple of times just to save time and then we want to the article consists of 43 pages so pages must be 43 so the pages property must be 43 now that's not a string that's a number so i can just put 43 if i'm sure am i sure about that i'm pretty sure it's not a if i go all the way up to the top pages is a number so there we go that is correct sorry for the scrolling and then so 43 and it was written in english so the language must be english so the language must be english not eng but english and the author is watson m so author must be watson m so author must be Watson M. And I think we've got one more thing to do. So I'm going to copy and paste this one more time. And then author must be Watson M. And published, so the publisher must be whatever that is. I don't know how to pronounce that. Curious. And the publisher. Now, again, make sure that your field names here are exactly like they are in the database. If they're not exactly the same, then it'll give an error. So publisher, there we go. And then once we've done, I think we've got all the fields, and then we can post the results. Okay, so it's just about getting your field names here and whatever the values are, making sure that they're the right type. So integer to integer, strings to strings, insert, and then post at the end. That's as simple as an insert gets. And let's try it. Insert, add article. There, vaccine trials, Watson, M, Sirius, 43, yay. We didn't have a source, so that's fine. Um, obviously, there's no source on that, no condiments there. No tomorrow source or any source, it's no source. Okay, so there we go. So it is possible, oh, there we go. They showed me there that there, there wouldn't be a source there, so they give me an example. And there we go, 40 marks. So there we go, that was quite easy. Um, again, very easy to do if you know your algorithms. Remember your first, while not end of file, uh, dot next. Remember with the delete that you need to have an else next. And with your um, your edit, you just go uh, edit. We uh, edit over there. You edit, do your changes, then post. You delete, you can just delete. And with your insert, you have to go into insert mode, give your values, and then post. That's basically databases in a nutshell. Well, we go. Well done. For more database revision, go to our YouTube channel, go to our playlist, and you'll see topics about databases there. Leave a like, leave a comment, please subscribe. We'd love to hear from you. And remember, don't do it the long way. Do it the Mr. Long Way.